um hello my name is Apofia Nakadama I'm a social worker and I've been a mental girl since 2022 and Biba Matasenyu mental girl way back since 2021 and we both are training with Youth Sport Uganda I've had the pleasure of attending a series of trainings with Mempro and a few I can name of hand would be SRHR training and then a boot camp later an entrepreneurship training um feminist leadership I have attended the section of productive health right training personal and organization management entrepreneurship and business clinic I've been also part of the cyber security training among other trainings we were told about how women and ladies at large find it hard to involve in leadership and in my group I was met to do a presentation of our group's findings I remember being very scared in that moment but when I went through the presentation and I got feedback from different people people I knew and people I didn't and they were commenting me on a job well done I felt that I'd pulled myself out of my comfort zone and since that day I've realized that uh, it has become a life's mantra that no matter situation I'm in I try to think and think back on that day and be like Oh, I did this so I can do something else. So it is a pushing factor that has been in my life since then and I try to think back on that day and realize that I've become better than I was back then. I acquired a very important skill and that is being able to write down your to-do lists and tasks for the SRHR that is section of productive health rights. This has really worked hand in hand with my profession as a social worker I've been exposed to different platforms different communities and I'm able to pass on knowledge to empower young girls and boys even in my current workplace it's one thing that is helping me in my programming you know being able to create better content that best fits in uh, uh, an age group of 8 to 12 years in terms of sexual and reproductive health rights is something that has been challenging on my side because I'm used to talking to you with young ladies young women but being able to stand up and occupy that new space of younger young boys and girls and being able to teach them and they understand the content they get to know about violence they get to know about their rights some of them are coming up talking about what affects them at home they are able to report that this and this is happening how can you help me this has been satisfying as a person and as a social worker yes um during my time volunteering with mempro we've had a series of trainings where we go out to different schools and talk to girls and boys about SRHR Additionally, in my current place of work, I work with youth aged 15 to 24 who are uh, being ailed with mental health challenges. The trainings I've attended have enabled me learn different skills like empathy, um, communication, sympathy, as well as others. So these various skills, I like to believe that they help me be a better fit in the society I'm working with in a way that when I'm interacting with someone and they're telling me about challenges or even if they're not telling me and I observe something about them it helps me be able to help them by either speaking to them or referring them to services that may be of help to them like I've seen how you actually using it at work and okay so mother one thing I've noticed uh, during our time together attending sessions and out of uh, here you've really embodied something from these trainings the most thing that you've really done you're passionate with working with children that's something i've noticed and you're always finding ways to innovate and be creative and be fun with them so 
for example, <laughs> at work, I see you when you're like when you're trying to prepare for for a session, maybe at one of the schools, and you're tra- or maybe when you're drawing your timeline for the month, and then you're thinking, I'm going to teach these kids this. You're like, ah, this is uh, really not age appropriate. So you're trying to find context that is good for them, and you're trying to incorporate skills that you're not only teaching them, but you're also empowering them with skills in a way. And you really love working with them. So, Apophia, that one thing that I've noticed about you is that she has really grown as a person in the way she carries herself. She is to be this person who is enclosed, introverted, but she's coming out. Actually, ever since the training, she has been more open to ideas. She really says out her mind. She has a very brilliant imagination. She's able to air out her arguments. Uh, another thing that I've I've noticed about her, she's really empathetic. She has been a great support system to me and to uh, other people that I know. She's one person who at any one moment you can rely on. She's always available. Uh, during trainings, we meet different people from different walks of life. I feel like because of the trainings, I've been able to make friends and uh, connections. I've networked with people right now in my phone. If I need something, I'll just go to the Mempro Girls Network and type guys who knows this who has this and immediately i'll get a contact person i'll get a number so in a way it has made life easy